one let's go a shot of a lord a shot of a lord will make you feel new a shot of a lord hey what chicago is to you with the bears and the bulls and the hawks and i hurt the cubs for the socks the CPI. welcome back to life's a breeze with matt and steve i'm matt this is uh king kong <laughs> <laughs> how we doing tonight guys uh so i'm going against everything that i believe in oh my god here, literally everything he believes in. So, as a bartender, as a person of the industry, I've, he... I've owned places, I've managed places, and I don't allow this product behind my bar. Uh, I think it's garbage. I think if you're coming to my place, it's not that kind of place. If that's what you're looking for, <laughs> maybe you can scoot on down the road. So, Matt has uh, hated on Malort literally day one. Now, yes, of course. If you've ever had the fact Malort. that this even became a thing from Chicago blows yeah. my fucking mind. Because uh, how did it? Because uh, it's, right. it's it's not even there. I mean, right. they it's moved stolen. to Chicago. Right, it, yeah. it, it, it's it's from somewhere else. I don't even care where it's from. It's the Netherlands. Yeah, I I refuse to learn about this product. Okay, so this one here tastes like dandelions in a gym sweaty gym sock rang out. Into a glass. That's not fair. That is 100% no, because, fair. No, okay. There's so nothing to it. They're not going home, for anything. Like, no. I'm telling you right now, I don't even know if this is a consistent recipe, and nor does anybody else who drinks it. No, it's, it's consistent. Sure. No, no, no. Because it's always There's exactly to the it. same. Because, all right, so Who's I can tell defend you. defend Lord? No, do you want to know what the recipe is? All right. Sure. So, legit, the reason it always tastes the same is because they take... One fourth of it is the tears of orphans. Yes. They mix that with the blood of puppies and then, you know, like just gutter water from like a street Problem that has a lot of sewage. It would be a lot darker. Um, no, 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 no. See, that's where the proofing comes in. You're forgetting about proofing. You always forget about proofing I when it comes to making proofing. garbage liquor. So the other one I found today actually made me laugh. So April 1st, April Fool's Day this year, 2020, I... Saw this and thought it was a joke. So this is uh, this is Jepson bourbon from Chicago. So, so Jepson's uh, Malort, it has. If you hadn't guessed, if you're not from Chicago and you're watching this video, uh, if you if you're from Chicago and you're watching this, haven't heard of Malort. Uh, shame on you. Uh, everybody knows what Malort is. But if you're watching no, this, if you're uh, if you're watching this, you're not from Chicago. You don't know the reputation Malort has. Uh, please. I don't know why it has this reputation. Uh, I'm so confused. Well, it has a reputation of being terrible. It's the shot that but you people do. love it. it pe some people, people claim love to love it. this. Now, shout out to my buddy Scott. Uh, if you're watching this video, Scott loves it. Uh, Scott is the biggest Malort fan that I know. He would come in and uh, he kind of like a baller. He'd come in and he would drop. He'd drop some cash and he'd buy everybody a shot of this just to watch the reactions, though. So he'd, he'd you we'd know what, I'll tell you go what. through a half a bottle. He, in like should, a half hour. he should comment on this. And I know he lives not too far from me. I, uh, I'll i mail this to him, the rest of the bottle, because I don't oh need it God. here after I've drinking it. Tonight. Scott, you're invited on the show to drink the rest of this with I'll us. I'll send it to him. He can just have it. Well, he, or, you know, that, that works too, I guess. However, uh, so knowing how bad all of this is, uh, we're going to drink we... an actual bourbon. So yeah, we had a we had a decision to make prior to this. Well, supposed. To I didn't want the taste of this shit to interrupt the taste of the bourbon because I've never had it before. So, but I really wanted to drink this first and then wash it down with the bourbon, hoping it was better. But I don't know at this point. So we're gonna go bourbon first because we've never had it, and then we're gonna go to the Malort. Yep. Here we go. It's hard for him. To, did you see his face? It's hard for him to even say he's gonna do Malort now. You know how many people have tried to buy Matt a shot behind the bar? Uh, been like, hey, uh, do Malort with me. Uh, so many how people. How many people have, have bitched at me while we've been working this. and been like, who's the asshole that's now ordering yeah. Malort? And you're like, this guy here. And I'm like, what's up? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, and I would tell people, like, talk to Matt. I know we're out of Malort. We're going to stay that way. It smells pretty good. I, I told you, they're going to do a good job with it. They know their reputation. They wouldn't put out a bourbon unless... Exactly. No, that's the whole problem. They know their reputation, so who knows what they're going to think this is. Yeah. No. Oh, it's strong. It is strong. The flavor is there. You know what? It's not bad. I've had worse. I've, I've had a had lot worse. worse. I've definitely had worse. It's a little lighter for the flavor, though. It's got more flavor than, like, body. Um, that's kind of weird to me. Uh, the color I thought was a little weird. 
the consistency is a little mm-hmm. weird. It's obviously okay. So the color is mostly artificial. Uh, I uh, it, yeah, there's a lot of caramel coloring put but in. But I'll there. tell you what, I'll tell you what, I would drink that over uh, Jack. Yeah. No, that's, it's not a bad product. That's uh for the price, it's not horrible. I'd shoot that. Now, if you're a Jack Daniels fan, awesome. I'd but, sit around with a but couple. Like, I'm not, uh, but I would drink this over that. You know what? I just thought of this. This was a brilliant product. Okay. So someone like me, yeah, who has no appreciation for this whatsoever, right? If I have to get behind the brand and just do something Chicago related, be like, hey, you're from, you're not from here, you're from right. Chicago. Instead of me giving you something horrible to remember us by, I could actually be like, hey, try a fucking Jepson bourbon. Yeah. Uh, or, so they're kind of. Or for people that are like my buddy Scott, uh, who would always drop the money on it, I think that he, who is also an extensive whiskey collector, yeah. I think that he would, he's going to go absolutely nuts. Well, if he doesn't cool. already own a bottle, he's going to, after he sees the video. Well, I mean, out of the two bottles, the bourbon is the one I'm going to be like, cool, it's a Chicago bottle. I want to put it in my Chicago, you know, whiskey and bourbon yeah, collection. Sure. Um, oh, no, you know what? I didn't even notice that. That's cool. I, I really do like the bottle. They, I like the fact that they're exactly the same, right. too. They're um, not trying to disguise what they are. Well, like. I have I have Malort at home. I mean, I'm going to add... I'm going to add the bourbon you to it, it just because, you know, I even have the Jameson uh, Chicago edition when they did the Chicago flag on the bottom. It smells like, uh, like an organic honey Ricola. Oof. No. Why did you pour that so full? Because you're, you were repping it You're hard. so full of shit right now. Look at this on the camera. Look at... He fucking... He was outrageous. repping it hard. So uh, just like the grandson of uh, old Jepson here. Cheers. Oh, God. Ah, uh, cheers. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, bud. Why? There is no reason. (laughs) There's no reason. And if you're partying all night, why at the end of the night do you even want me to serve you this? That's going to fuck up your stomach. Like, oh my God, you're just asking for a whole different experience that I don't even want to give you as a bartender. And that's why I don't have that product. The bourbon all day. (laughs) <laughs> if you were falling down your fucking face, I'd give you the bourbon over the goddamn Malort any day. Nah, because the, okay, it's it's like with anything else that you do as a popular shot with friends, right? Do you remember? No, 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 hold you remember on, Remember those hold things on. people put on the back of their toilets back in the day? They were like cone-shaped and you'd spin it yeah. and it had like a weird gel. I still have one of those. You still have one yeah. of those? Okay, so lick that. Uh, no, that's that's it's not just, doing those cone things it's justice. It's just floral... No shit. So no, the all right. No. It, it's herbal. Garbage. Uh, it is garbage. No, it's absolutely it's terrible. Um, garbage. But I know people that that rep this. It's hard. been at least two years since I've even drank that. That is just fucking all garbage. Right. I'm gonna tell you what right now. Um, still though, as far as as far as you bonding, what they did to the back of my bonding tongue? exercises as as a team when you're doing shots, you're out at a bar. Uh, you there's always people that don't like doing shots. There's always people that can't handle shots. They like their fruity drinks. They like beer, whatever. Uh, you, the reason you do shots at a bar is, is like a bonding exercise as a group. You go out, you're having fun, you cheers, you do a shot, you hate it, you love it, whatever. Uh, Malort is one of those where you bond over trauma. Uh, you are trauma bonded having done Malort together. Trauma that is bonded. I that love is, that. That is why people I still do I'm Lord. smoking a cigarette. I still can't get the taste out of the back. I know of my, throat, my fucking. Tongue. I know I'm laughing at you right now. I I am dying because you hate Malort so much. I can't even believe we did this on video. You guys got to see a real treat because uh, literally, literally people have like yeah. offered to pay Matt. I've to seen take assholes come out of weddings no. thinking they're just badasses with their Porsches yeah. and shit. They're like, let me get like six Malorts, and I'm like, yeah, we don't have Malort. And they're like, what the fuck? It was like that guy it's that like, I get a uh, clue, bud. Get a clue. It was like that guy where he was like... I'm sorry, like, you're ah. in for Denver for the weekend. You just want to try some more. <laughs> like, fuck off. No, it's like the, the dude that was at the from the one wedding where he's like, oh, do you have any Benedictine? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, no, I don't because, you know, it's terrible. And and he's like, he's like, ah, no, I love Benedictine. We drink that all the time. Nobody like, likes Benedictine. Ah. And nobody just drinks it. It's so stupid. Right, it's and like, I go... And he I looked go, like... Putty from Seinfeld. You know? <laughs> I go. I, I like, bet you like Malort too. And he's like, I do like Malort. And I'm like, that makes a lot of sense, though. Like, if you if you like one, you'll like the other. That's just yeah. If you're not from the Netherlands and you're not like a gnome, yeah, like you shouldn't be drinking like herbal liqueurs. What for? <laughs> it, was, it was like when we had time. <laughs> we had time liqueur. 
Oh man, you you know how close you were to drinking that tonight? That was gonna be one of my bottles. Oh, uh, he should bring it because I miss it. I was gonna bring that. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing. Um, that and the rhubarb. I was gonna. Oh, do you a got a rhubarb? Yeah. Wow. See, you should have kept that the root and did all those in one. Oh, like a flashback. Yeah. Well, see, I okay. So the root, the root is not a flashback for me. That's why the root, because I didn't serve it. I found that bottle downstairs. I did not work there when we served root. I only poured it in cokes. I you would only have to. That's the only thing it's good in. Yeah. It's root beer flavor. Unless you're putting it in root beer. You Anyways, know. we should just oh, do yeah. a flashback that, episode. That, that, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be another episode. I we're, we're gonna start talking about. Root because he can't stop talking about it. Uh, but we're gonna be back and we're gonna do a whole nother segment. I am sorry that I'm still trying. I'm really trying to not to have like acid reflux from that malort. The malort is horrible. The like, back of your tongue, right where it curls like to your throat, is filled with whatever that is. Yeah, no. Yeah. And you can't get rid of it. That's a dandelion sweat socks recola. If anybody ever challenges you to shoot Malort, uh, my, my suggestion is to uh, do it with pickle juice may, and look like a boss because you won't taste it. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you look like a boss doing it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why do that to yourself? Don't do that to yourself. If somebody's, if somebody's like, do Malort, be like, yeah, give me some pickle. I'm just, that's, that's Malort it. and cranberry all day. Cranberry? That's disgusting can't taste the malort that you're full of shit i'm not you're full of shit you put that in cranberry you're gonna taste malort that's all you're gonna taste it's gonna be it's gonna be like malort tinged cranberry you can that, do that that's like grapefruit no, yeah. that's like saying that you take gray goose and and the cranberry and gray goose are two different things you don't taste the vodka of course you taste the vodka that's ridiculous yeah it's gray goose yeah but i this <laughs> is the strongest flavored liquor in the world. No, it'll get masked, trust me. No. That or grapefruit all day. Grapefruit, maybe. Cranberry do the same thing. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Grapefruit. Try it out. Let me know. All right. You guys experiment at home. If you have a drink. Uh, so Matt Matt just signed himself up for a long haul here. Now, uh, he bought We don't a have whole cranberry bottle. juice, thank God. So he, uh, he bought... No, no, no. Not tonight. We don't have he grapefruit juice He bought himself tonight. a whole bottle... Of Malort that's going to be here in the bar. So, What's you guys comment is, or send a message to Life's a Breeze with Matt and Steve. Uh, if you can think of a cocktail or a drink that you would like us to mix Malort with to prove us right or wrong. How about on sardine flavor, juice? Oh, see, don't start that now. Because like now, your Caesar salad martini. First, my, my Caesar salad martini was great. I have a picture. I have a video, actually, of that. You know what? Uh, if you uh, have that guy video, we're going to do an episode of that next. We'll just do... The, we'll, we'll just talk about that. We don't have it. We uh, need to make it. I'm not making a Caesar salad oh, he is. again. Oh, we're not doing it. All right, fine. Yeah. I'll make a Caesar. <laughs> oh, he's asking me to come out of retirement. Right? He's wearing uh, the same clothes as the last time he did it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I totally forgot. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. This was a good episode. Man. I enjoyed this uh, I, for you know what, what it was. I enjoyed it. I I actually really like the bourbon I, I, all day. I'm a uh, big but fan. Anything good I job, drink Justin. against anything I drink against Malort is going to taste better anyways. But this guy, this guy in the background losing his shit. Oh my god, that's the grandson. That's, that's amazing. Right so there. yeah, if you guys didn't know and you watched all the way to the end, you get to find out the the grandson of the guy who actually started. You know what you should uh, do, Steve? Jepson's Malort Company. Right here. Uh, you know what you should do? What's that? You should put a link to this video so people can enjoy that. You know what? Because people overseas love us. You know what? Uh, oh yeah, people overseas. We're huge in Belgium. Huge in Belgium. Uh, you know, we sixty percent demographic overseas. So if you're watching Life's a Breeze with Matt and Steve, uh, Arigato, uh, or Dr. Bobo. Shane. Uh, is that Bobo? Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> the cavemen aren't watching. They don't have internet. How do you know? It's because they're cavemen. I Jesus. just saw a thing about how All many right. of us are still Neanderthals. <laughs> we should do an episode on that. All right, guys. This video has gone on long enough. We'll see you later. Thanks, Steve.